In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the basics on how to make a skybox. First thing you want to do, you'd want to go into your texture browser on the right. Type in 2D and scroll all the way down to the bottom. At the bottom, you'll see Tools Skybox 2D. In your level, in your uh, 2D view, your top down view, uh, drag a box around your level and on the side views make it so it encompasses the entire level in a box. Press enter. At the top here go to tools, go to make hollow, negative 32. I would not recommend this method if you're working on a big map. Um, this method is just for small maps and really it's not a good idea. You want to make the skybox exactly against your level confines, like right here, for example, like along the edge. But for um, simplicity's sake, just make a box around it and hollow it out. Now, if you go to Map, Map Properties, there is Skybox Texture Name. In the description, I will provide a link to this website. Scroll down to Half-Life 2, which is what um, Gary the was built on, and find the skybox you'd want. So let's just say, for this tutorial, I'll take sky 0306B. So you just copy the skybox name here, you go back into Hammer, and you just change it in here. You press Apply. Now your map will be selected, just uh, go to the Select tool and just select something else. And now your skybox will be changed in game. As you can see, our skybox is here, and it is the skybox I picked on the website, and it is uh, fully around my map. Now, to add another layer of depth to your level, put, place down an entity, go to your select tool, double click on your entity, and type in light underscore environment. This will shine light all um, from your skybox, so you at your level actually is lighting. Now, if you go back on the website, you could just copy these values here and put them into here. So let me give you an example. So 0140, you copy that and you put it in this pitch out roll here. For the pitch. You'd want to go back in here and go to negative 75. Um, brightness and color. Press on it. Um, copy this. Uh, and just keep doing the same for all these. Now I'd actually suggest not messing with these numbers here and putting them in the uh, these next boxes here. Because if you actually are trying to compile your map in HDR, it breaks the lighting. Um, and uh, that's basically it. And now, your level will have lighting from the skybox. Um, another thing about lighting is if you... Your level will not have lighting at all unless you have a light entity down. So for example, if I didn't have this light environment down, and I just had like a... Um, let's just say... A normal light over here so let me just show you so this is just a normal light it'll cast light all around it just a bright white light and um, let's just say I just had this and no light environment everything would be black besides this light so you've really got to add lights everywhere um, so let me show you this in game now as you can see our level now has basic lighting uh, you can also see the uh, quite actually uh, dim and blocked out white light, but that's only for the skybox. Um, you can tell here that there is some lighting. It's a lot better than what it was before. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.